on Twitch. Right, looks like we're live. Let me just pop up the chat so that I can actually see what you guys are writing. Um, on here, here. I think okay. There we go. Cool. Slightly bigger. There we go. Okay. Um, I think are ready to go. I don't know how to lapse that shit. Uh, whatever. Okay. Cool. Right, um, so hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and uh, you know, this is another live stream for building data science with JavaScript. Um, today, we're gonna finish our processing pipeline by um, adding last uh, processing service, which is gonna be um, like enrichment services. Yeah, right, so it's not processing, it's rather enrichment. We're uh, defined this naming. Um, I'm thinking that we don't really need two services here. So I don't think we need both Wikipedia and DBpedia. So we're going to go with DBpedia um, um, service because this is just more fun and I can show you some more stuff, uh, specifically Sparkly RDF and uh, a bit of semantic web, I guess, inside. So we're going to do that. Um, since enrichment is a step that should happen after processing, right? Because we want to enrich the entities that Fox extracted. Um, this basically should happen in a storage service after we update the article, right? So here's we have our to do here, we save, uh, send it to enrichment, um, where we handle the same doc exceptions uh, here, I mean, okay, it that should be Yeah, I guess it's fine. It doesn't really matter, right? Okay. Um, I guess I, I'll just I'm just gonna kill this because you know, for now, we're just gonna ignore this duplicate documents because I don't really know what to do with them. But uh, if they exist, we're fine. Basically, we're just gonna ignore them. Right. So um, here's what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna update and uh, we are gonna take the processors. And once the document is updated, um, I wait, wait a second. So basically, I think um, mongoose when you da, when you do find by ID and update returns the document, right? If I remember correctly. So tiny, I've I increase the zoom specifically for you guys, by the way, so somewhere I should increase the zoom. There we go. Um, right, so we need find by up by ID and update. Uh, so we're going to have a look here. Returns a query query is I think a waitable. Yes, yeah, so query, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, query and then uh, come on, tell me query end, query batch size, query cast, query catch, uh, query exec. Is there a query exec? Yes, there you go. Query exec, please. Um, exec description. Show me the exec description. I calculate. That's not what I want. Example. Is this exec? No. Um, so I guess it should be like the. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Returns a promise and. Uh, what is this promise resolves to because this is not I guess it returns the updated document. Um, I hope so at least. Um, now okay, you know what I'm just gonna do gonna try that. Um, so okay, we first of all, we need our Mongo. So we need a storage service and yarn Mongo volume, right? Uh, Start. Yes. Uh, yeah, we can just create a, a test file or maybe. Yeah, I guess test file will be fine, right? Create uh, TGS. Um, the thing that you should not really do, but I somehow end up doing that all the time. So whatever. Um, DB article. Yes. So we're going to require it from source DB, right? And uh, we're going to have a main run function that is going to be a sync. Run it and do um, await connected to DB, and then we're gonna say article. I guess we first have to create new article, right? So some test article, whatever. 
this case, what's the article schema again? I honestly don't remember. So we got ID from text. Um, under three external URL, the article header text can be low world, right? So we just need some some article to test. So console log uh, saved article. And then after we do this um, update, find by ID and update. So we need this article underscore ID and we said the data. Um, wait a second, was this schema strict or not? No, it wasn't. Okay, so we can update true. And then we just say console log updated. It's kind of annoying when you know when you're it's easier to write a short script to actually test what the hell does the function do uh, instead of like looking in the docs because they are a bit using say the least. Okay, um, yeah, so updated does return the original document, it seems. That is weird. Um, okay. How come it does it returns the original document? Oh, right, because I yeah, right, I screwed up. Uh, that should be set. No, it shouldn't be set, right? It doesn't care about that where you found out this last time. Um, right, so do we have to do another query for that? Um, we update that and then uh, come on, const the doc article find by ID and then we do article underscore ID, right? Data true test one to three. Okay, so theoretically it. Eh? Um, do, oh yeah, right, because we cannot insert it really. So we already inserted it. We don't care about that anymore. That is absolutely true. That, no. Uh, article is not defined. Did I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess we do need our, some article, article, um, wait, article. Find um that one. So take first article equal articles at zero, right? There you go. Okay. Yeah, so you have to run a second query, it seems. It's a bit annoying, but okay, whatever. We can do that. Not critical in our case, so um we do this and get the updated doc. Uh, so data ID and then uh, we have to send it to the processors for enrichment. So in this case, um, dog to object, this is going to be this and the send comes from yeah, so uh, data comma sends. So the thing is right now we have processors that are uh, basically all of them, right? So, but in our case, uh, here we only want to send it to processors that are of type uh, processor. And in this case, we just want to send uh, to processors that are of type uh, enrichment, right? Or I guess, uh, rich service. Feature? Is that, is that a word? No, that doesn't sound correct. Um, let's call it enrichment. Let's just call it enrichment, whatever. So in this case, if we take, for example, the keywords, we have this config. So this is the config is what we send and it has type processor, right? So we would need to create another um, type of uh, processor that would say that it's a uh, off type enrichment and that's about it. Okay, uh, sending article to enrichment. So we gotta specify what exactly we're doing here for debugging. Processor. Okay. And um, okay, so now that we've written that bit, we need to write the simple test for that. So should say should update simple article and then uh, for update. So we actually want to test. Um, Stuff, right? So 
first of all, yeah, we have to actually um, wait a second. So test processor, and then we need to create, uh, yeah. So this, first of all, this should be type processor. Then we create test enrichment, and then test and type and and come on. Okay. Um. So we send a test processor. Then we do test master send. Um same but it's going to be test enrichment so we say that hey here's an enrichment processor in addition um right so here's we subscribe to test processor and uh here we should actually subscribe um test master hey, come on subscribe so i'm you know what i'm just gonna do that Right, and uh, for update, and actually need to do that within, uh, and we don't need that slip here as well, right? So we just do this. So uh, test enrichment ID, async data. In this case, uh, yeah, we have to compare. So basically, um, updated true, let's say enriched true, right? And uh, no, wait, so this is this. Oh, yeah, we actually should test it after. Yeah, this is that. Okay, that's true. So we test the updated and we get the articles. We could we check that it's updated and make sure that TOK um, data updated uh, should have actual data, right? So the data should be also updated now. Um, if we start to do the rabbit start, right? And we uh, we actually need yarn Mongo clean, uh, restart the Mongo because we have this document that we don't really need there. Um, okay, call npm test. And uh, I screwed something up. Test ID to ID. Maybe the what? A what? Um, what did I screw up? That was working last time, right? Um, okay, so it failed on um, error saving article validation error underscore ID. Uh, okay, yeah, that's because, oh, well, we changed the fixtures. This, the, yeah, this thing uh, for one of the, for one of the, uh other tests right so we can take this i guess that should work um expression yeah oh. i probably should configure some way to run tests on all the things so that we don't break them like this um, test should be fine right yeah there you go okay now it's passing and our update service also working just fine cool to fix that i guess we can commit this so add uh, Yes, that's the yeah okay. Um, yarn Mongo stop in rabbit in folder. That is something we need. Okay, let me check Docker's clean now and got uh, add course uh, test fixtures right it it adds um oh yeah you know what there's another thing um we should so basically the thing here will be that once enrichment service finishes its work it's gonna it's gonna need to send it to the storage right and if we send it to update method it's gonna send it again to the processor so there are two ways we can of course do that uh, and just say, you know, enrichment uh, processors should just reject whatever they already enriched, which is okay, but that's gonna create overheads for um, number of messages in the queue, right? Because it will have to send it again and again. So I'm gonna create the enrich uh, method, which is basically gonna be just this, right? 
um, is going to be as our old method. Uh, but it's not going to send anything to anywhere, essentially. And we need a simple test for it as well. Should save. Should article, right? So in this case, which and uh, this say and true, then we just sleep, get it, and for that, don't need that. Uh, make sure that X is T okay. Um, have reached article, right? And okay, our code starts, yeah, probably our red. Start. Uh, we should probably create some sort of a method here that would start all services. Start is going to be um, yarn rabbit in and yarn mongo in and yarn rabbit start and yarn mongo start. So it's basically, you know, so then I don't have to do that myself every time. Um, and pim test that should pass if I didn't screw anything up. Um, yep, perfect. So that works. Um, source as package. There we go. Add enrichment support to storage service. So now that we have the enrichment support, we can actually build our enrichment service and uh, actually gonna be it. So we're gonna use dbpd as I said for enrichment. Um, before we can do that, we do need to have an uh, Fox article, right? So I guess, I mean, we can just run the Fox and dump thing or um, yeah, I guess we can just, yeah, we can just get this uh, notation here. That's probably a good idea. Let's go to the Fox service. So because we need some test input data, right? And um, what do we do here? We do yarn fox start. So we start the fox locally. Um, that's gonna take some time. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna wait while it's doing this thing. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say that uh, log it, but I'm gonna do a fast write file sync, and I'm gonna write it fox JSON, and I'm gonna say um, JSON by now to so we're gonna pretty print it into file fox.json. Okay, so fox is gonna take a bit to start up. And then we should be able to actually uh, get the dump. And my computer doesn't die while streaming and trying to start fox. Is that thing can it memory easily? <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay, there we go. 55 seconds. I mean, that's not too terrible. The TGS and uh... Okay, I guess we have to wait a bit. Um, process it. Come on. Ah, there we go. Oops. That uh, we got the fox JSON now. So this is what the extracted entities will look like. So in this case, it's perfect because we have both entities that are actually linked to DBpedia and the entities that are not linked to DBpedia. But we can uh, at least the you know the fox wasn't able to link them. So but we can still try to um, figure it out and um, link it to something anyway. Let's put it this way move it to fixtures. And in this case, we're in the Fox annotations this way. And uh, now we need an enrichment service that would do that. So I'm going to copy um, I guess keywords would do right. So we got a media rich uh, service. And I can, okay, I'm not going to be lazy, I'm going to spell it completely. Okay, and 
gonna close this as we don't really need it. So I'm gonna go to DB service. I'm gonna open code over here. And in this case, we remove node, yarn lock. Right, so um, that uh, package JSON, so it's gonna be D, 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 yeah. Service, there we go. Yeah. Service, yes. Uh, I think that's about it. Why is my mobile buzzing? There's some bollocks. I don't need it. Yep, thank you very much. Okay, um, we got index config. Yes, so this should be enrichment. Uh, this should be the idea. Um, result key enrich. So config is trivial. And now this is gonna be media. Uh, we are gonna change that. So this is gonna be um, article, I guess. We're gonna pass the whole thing here. We're gonna turn something. Oh yeah. Then in this case, it's gonna be Enrich uh, using media. So, yeah, there you go. And there's going to be the media management service started, right? Going to be using video. There you go. And the text is going to be the whole data, but we're still going to check for text and we're going to check for um, first. Box. So we need to check for locations. Um, uh, locations, what was it? Organizations and people, right? And people, there we go. Okay, um, not locations or not organizations or not people. Um, and it's actually what we, so, okay, so first we check for underscore ID because if there's no ID, we die. We also need to check, uh, not, no, that's fine. That should be fine, right? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Mm, Chain yes underscore ID. So that looks fine. Um, yeah, we can do what kind of packages do we have here? We don't really need any of those. Just install the dependencies. And uh, in this case, we're gonna use, um, I guess we can just use Sparkle. So basically for this case, uh, we're just gonna ignore the entities that are not in DBpedia, which means they are not in Wikipedia, right? And we're just gonna uh, try to find whatever is in there. So if you are not familiar, uh, DBpedia org is, um, it's a scientific project that started quite some time ago. Um, the idea is that it takes the Wikipedia and transforms it to machine readable format. Um, there's a bunch of people who already used it for a lot of pretty cool projects, including um, IBM Watson, for example. They used it as a database, uh, like one of the databases, of course, that they've um, utilized during the Watson, uh, when Watson won the trivia thing. Uh, but okay, yeah, so... Um, the cool thing about it is that you can do some very complex queries and it's not just Wikipedia articles, but it's actually Wikipedia entity description, right? So if we take uh, this fixtures um, thing and if we have a look at the Europe here, see it's a resource and you can open it in the browser, it will actually serve you the page. Um, it's this matter. So you can see that there are properties like okay of course you have abstract that has the full description is by the way in multiple languages but it also has other properties like you know total area of europe uh, languages population thumbnails external links wiki page id and so on and so forth captions coordinates co countries in this case it's it, i think it actually should have been a number but uh, data quality is not always like 100 percent so yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do here. And this format allows you to ask questions, for example, you know, like list me all the countries that belong to Europe, which is a possibility here with DBpedia. And this is what makes the semantic web RDF and uh, Sparkle are very helpful when you're writing bots, for example. So 
Wikipedia chatbot was, uh, you know, not very hard to write because it was based on Wikipedia, which basically allows you to transform those questions into queries. Right, so um, what we are going to do is, yeah, we're going to take um, copy all thing here and there so we can close the supply, which we don't need um, here. Thank you very much. So, uh, yes, we're going to take all entities uh, and I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be article uh, locations map, right? Uh, so we're going to map location to location URL. We're going to just uh, entity URLs, right? So we're going to map them to URLs and then we're going to, con um, hey, I split it into three lines because Gonna be easier to understand. So we got location URLs, we got org URLs, uh, article, uh, let me think, organizations, map, it, map, org, or URL, right? And we're gonna have people, people URLs. Um, that's it, nope. Article, people, map, person person URL right so and then we're gonna have entities URLs and it's gonna be um I mean type that there we go it's gonna be location nope URLs concat uh, org URLs and we're gonna concat that with people URL so now we have a bunch of URLs that are all concatenated in one nice uh, array and then we're gonna do dbpedia urls and in this case we're just gonna urls filter url so that url uh, basically includes uh, dbpedia.org right that's what we're looking for now um, i guess we actually need uh, edge right we're gonna be fetching the data at the fetch here, and then uh, we're gonna go through all the URLs. I equal zero, I uh, smaller than URLs length, um, I plus plus. And we're gonna get, so we're gonna say URL equals URLs from I. Once again, I'm doing the for loop nodes, just promise all map because I don't want to hammer the DBPDA endpoints, a uh, bunch of simultaneous requests, you know, because it's not nice. Right, and now we need to write a query. const URL to query. So it's going to be URL, it's going to be a function that takes in a URL and then returns a query. So what are we going to need from all those urls where we're going to take the simplest case and see okay we got a bungee for example here maybe we need different queries for different people i don't know for different types i'm sorry so i guess we definitely want to have an abstract uh sparkly endpoint over here so we can select um yes abstract uh way no tab here okay, you know what i'm just gonna write it here because it's annoying so we're gonna definitely go for abstract uh, do we want anything else i guess wiki page ID, is there a wikipedia link that could be on wiki, wiki page external link yeah that sounds like a good idea does europe has it it does okay cool so we're gonna have external link um probably start copying property okay so i'm gonna explain in a second what i'm doing so once i figure out what kind of um things we need to extract basically or gather in this case uh, okay so this stuff is a bit too um unique to the thing i guess we can get the type maybe the comment yeah comments is comment the same as uh, the abstract? No, it's not. It's different, right? 
Um, yeah, okay, we definitely need labels, so something once. Well, it's gonna be the name, right? Same as, we don't need that, derived from, a uh, depiction would be nice, um, or like an image something. Ah, uh, oh yeah, I remember that problem. So basically they use the images from Wikipedia, which is the Wikimedia format, and you cannot get the direct link to URI, you have to use Wikimedia API to send them a resource name, ID, and image, and then only then you can get the image, which is annoying as hell, so we are, I guess, not gonna do that. Right, so how do you write a queries? Well, um, everything in DBpedia is represented in triples format, which means that uh, what you see here is actually a triple, which means DBpedia Resource Europe has a property DB, D, DBP image that has value Europe around 650, for example, right? Or has a property direction, which is has a value vertical. So if I were to write it in a triple, then uh, for example, let's take label. Uh, I would say that in this case, it should be a resource, right? Because it's a resource, so it's gonna be a resource and you use this uh, triangle brackets to put the URIs in. Uh, RDFS label, I'm gonna copy the link. So label is uh, then label, right? And this is how you write it. This is how you build queries here uh, with RDF. Right, so we do want uh, that, then we want uh, this is actually, okay, I'm gonna just do it for Europe for now and then we're gonna figure out, um, probably can use prefixes at prefix RDFS, uh, that is, okay, I completely forgot how to write sparkly prefixes. A quick look up um yeah by the way it's a w3c lang like spec and you know, it's all pretty well developed okay so we this uh, work here we can just say simplify it and write it in the same way they use h or gfs label and we need a prefix uh, bbo it So just copy this thing and um, okay, so technology and that should be the prefix, right? Do we separate them somehow with a dot? Uh, limit, uh, with, I mean, okay, yeah, limit 100 just in case something goes terribly wrong is gonna be abstract. And uh, then if we do this Europe, DNA, and then we're gonna say external link. I Kernel link. There you go. I forgot the dots. So if I run this query within this uh, Spark endpoint right now, I didn't screw anything up. Uh, I did screw up stuff. What did I do wrong? Prefix. Kernel find. No wait. Actually, yeah. Wait. Fix. How do you define prefix in this part? Ah, okay. So there is no dots. Okay. I guess it's in, in, in triples you need the dot there and here you don't. Confuses me. Okay, so uh, in theory that should return what? Prefix before, wait, did I not need add there? Yeah, okay, I did not. Uh, on. Try this one more time. Uh, I think it works. <gasps> there we go, it works. Okay, so. Um, uh, yeah, okay, it selected a bunch of them which we don't need. So say select distinct. And uh, we actually can request. So, one of the cool things of um, RDF is that uh, you can request the um, call it languages. So, uh, if we, if I remember how I do that, so. Which something like at English or something, yeah, there you go. But, um, how now Robert, how do you in a query? I don't remember if you can do that. 
try um throw it in here right oh, i can okay um sparkling variable uh filter ah yeah i guess it, you should run filter over it is that how it works uh blah blah, blah, blah optional yeah yeah, I guess I guess let's run so we have to run filters. So we need filter Erlang. Oh need that at here. Filter lang abstract and filter lang. I mean okay. Only need languages for abstract and label, right? So there you go. Why is there Okay, yeah, right, because, yeah, okay, it selects the table for each external link, it's gonna select same value for uh, abstract. Only one, and only one value for label. Okay. okay, so we now have this query, which will return us our things. Uh, so we're gonna, see. in this case, we're gonna, this Europe thing should actually be uh, URL, right? Okay, query equals uh, query URL, right? And then we need to send it, so lazy one, look for the docs and see how work looks. Uh, log, what? Oh, it's a okay filter by xhr um they actually put query into uh query params we can do that why not okay uh idea okay uh, then we need to do const results um url is gonna be your slash sparkly right ah we don't that's we that's okay and fetch fetch query um is there a way to do that i remember that was like query string folder um blah 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 q suggestion but it never i guess we ended up with just adding it to the string last time, right? I don't really remember, but okay. Um, let us see. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Let's just let's just add it. So we have default graph URI uh, work. Well, I have um URL base here. Call it DBP base. stuff question mark graph uri equal work um i think we actually um right because right as is but it's obviously work properly make base base and then no url there we go okay uh so for query we encode our query and this is what we're here and code uri component query uh formats is gonna be added here and say format equals I think we should be able to request JSON. Now this is the e work with basically format. Format, come on. Ah, there you go. Text L JSON. It's what? Uh, it does not look like. Um, ah, there you go. 
Jason. Are you really? Now it's just ah application sparkler proper coded thing. Okay. Um. What else? Uh, we that we don't care about this stuff. Timeout. We don't really need debug. I guess we can set timeout for thirty seconds. Is what? But why not? Let's let's set timeout to thirty seconds. Um, okay. And then we do this, and then rest it. Log results, right? So for now, we just do this and yes, here I'm gonna take um, media. Come on, media. Um, yeah, so we're gonna read, but it's not gonna be input article, it's gonna be. Oh, what was the name of it? Uh, fixtures, Fox Sentations, right? Read. Um, Jason's at the end. There you go. Okay. Yeah, uh, and then data and test. Uh, get from the it is not a function. I did that. Not. Uh, right. Okay. Would be module. Will it JSON response body? Okay. Need to send headers or something. Okay, so it does send you um, the hit function here as well because we don't want to hammer it time. Promise. Add and sleep. Okay, um, yeah, I guess it sends some headers, except not really missing type response header, right? Okay. I refresh it, I just see correct JSON, right? Missing. I have the default I have no format text takes oh. wrong JSON. Very oh I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, uh request headers. Control type is why what on run query format applications for the result yeah what am i doing wrong um okay this okay if i just copy this and pull curl pull, i get jason i'm confused uh the URL broken or something. So, test URL. Um, uh, it doesn't really encode anything. Oh, I screwed up the timeout thing as well. Test way we. mark so let's do it this way I guess then Unen. I guess I mean okay split it a bit more so that it stops completely out the what like the string concatenation. No, I wanna like I wanna do it as a string concatenation. Otherwise it's gonna be long. So sometimes I think the Airbnb stuff is a bit strict. Unexpected token. Eh? I forgot that's the question. What? 
Okay. Um, okay, now that actually looks correct. Try running that and seeing results. Still returns. I, I have no fucking idea. Um, application structure results plus JSON. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Format, right? Right. So, are you not happy about that? No headers, it seems. Provisional headers. What are non provisional? That. All right. Except text. Yeah, so no, I don't see any like except ever. I mean, I guess we can try. We can try to set a header to see that if that helps, maybe. Um, yep. Uh, so. There's. Yes, we can add that. There's content type application JSON. Maybe that's what you want. Accept. Is that what you want? Yeah, hey, there we go. Okay, now it's JSON. <laughs> okay, so it really wanted header, but if for some reason their own GUI just works. And this is. That actually looks like burn here. Thingify, let's pretty print that. That actually looks like RDF JSON, not JSON. It is fine by us. Um I mean essentially we're interested in the bindings part, right? We get uh, I guess we just results bindings. This is res, right? That. And there you go. Okay. So we have array of stuff now where we need to extract the unique values of abstract, internal link, and label. Which means so, um, okay, uh, yeah, entities. So we're gonna have a final array which will contain all the DBPD entities. We're gonna say press for each, so it's gonna be entity have URL, right? And okay, for each, uh, Alt, I guess it's gonna be const abstract. Abstract is gonna be results abstract value on kernel URL alt value. Right? Finally we have label, it's gonna be the same results label value so we have three of those but we need unique things here so i guess we're gonna construction here um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create three sets so there's gonna be abstract sets new set gonna be kernel link set because you know sets can only contain unique values so we don't even have to think about adding more than one. And then I'm just gonna say abstract, uh, add abstract, kernel, add think, say labels, add label. There we go. Now here we just say Abstract, say abstract. We're gonna just get the first one 
and values is what and what we can just do this for now and it into a f tables same and we're gonna do external things and same right so we convert them from set to a which E yes. go. So run it now. We should get exactly we have one abstract, one label, and a bunch of external links in our URL. Um and then we just say that our uh media entities push entity. Touch sleep the up. And in the end, we return dbpedia entities like this as the object, right? So we because we're going to save that later um, in, the, in the database. Quickly run it. Um, it's gonna yeah. There you go. Seems to be working. I mean, we can do JSON by uh, all two to pretty print it with all the properties so they can actually see that it works. Um, Gina Torres, what was that doing in a bungee article? Or oh, maybe there's a name of an American television actress. Okay, whatever. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be working just fine. Uh, we got Europe, we got Earth. Got Bungie, so you know what do you expect? You got the links. We working good. And uh, now we need um can close this. We can close this. We're not happy about that. No wait and loop. Uh yeah, okay, so copy the here and say in loop off right because we do need it there and uh as i said sometimes uh airbnb config is a bit too strict in my opinion no plus plus off right that and i think we are okay that's wrong. uh no unused expression either is used for template for template per off as well. It is. Oh, I actually forgot to concatenate that. Worked anyway. Test it again. I mean, assume it's gonna work anyway. It's just gonna time out for thirty seconds. Not like yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So we would need to uh, test here, I guess. Uh, why I that we did that so we're good we expand result yeah okay perfect uh, which means we need to just try the test and actually we're done with all the processing pipeline okay we would need um, knock right we would need um, we need to mock the re response of the here would actually test the whole damn thing Yes, let me think. Uh, Fox and patients, very much. Uh, string, yes. So this is going to uh, service, yes. There we go. So, uh, yeah, should process simple patients in this case. Not fail the process broken article. Yeah, that's the same. Okay, that should work fine. Okay, in this case, we uh, it is an enrichment service, so as a response, it's going to send it to enrich. So, subscribe to, whoops, and then we have to test uh, data. Yes, send config. Um, I think we might not need at least for testing. We don't really need that much stuff, right? So we're going to say. 
Okay, we're gonna just take the test data is gonna be locations. Let's just take the data locations comes yes and we're gonna we're just gonna take one location because we don't want to like send all of you know test all of them essentially because mocking all of that will be fine um did we already do uh knock mock summer i think we did right so let me see um was it fox I no fox we tested properly with the fox itself uh oh yeah it was open critic right because we didn't want to rely on the server being live basically set up block endpoints so it's gonna be uh org and in this case it's gonna be slash sparkling right sparkling uh query doesn't matter and response should be Tom Jason, that is results. Uh, results by by things. Array of stuff. We're just gonna have one thing, uh, which is gonna have um. Let's see. Abstract, abstract, have abstract, have value, test abstract, gonna have label, test label, test label, test label, have test link gonna be um what was it external link field right value test do not have that what oh yeah uh yes and why okay else Findings, correct. All external link, object finding. Okay, now it's here. Okay. Our map broke prettier. What's The, oh oh okay i'm an idiot uh i completely forgot to yeah okay now it works there we go okay so we need to make sure that the uh, media entities turn right yes and Entities, I guess we can start. length one have one right and uh, basically the repeat in this from zero should be not be array, it should be an object in this case have and we can that and then there's basically gonna be URL is we do need um yeah we need the URL from I yeah okay we can <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking how that properly need that input data URL right I think we take the URL field no let's take locations zero url this well and then we have label test label abstract uh, test abstract ah but that should be array right 
tables, abstracts, and external links, and link. So, okay, theoretically, have, yeah, okay, and test and. and so what happens ah right okay only here now okay i get some logging because something doesn't really work quite as done it is consuming ending to yeah, data locations yes. oh because it doesn't have underscore id um test work and okay uh, in on docker so essentially, once we fix that, we're done with all the processing services. We can, uh, I guess, run them a few times in different games and then just start building the uh, front end stuff. Okay. Uh, I not added the Fox on it. Sure. Okay. Um, service. There's Service uh, start, start right test. So it's uh, ah right okay now I know so it looks for all of them. Basically, what I want is right. So it's either if I if one of those is false, then we die. If if there at least one, we can keep working. Right? Uh, am I screwing up the conditions here? So if it's if there's no ID, we die. Or if there is no locations and no organizations and no people, we die. Um. Got ID and we got location. Log. Uh, do not process. Let's see, it's that. Am I screwing up the conditions? Okay. Okay, so it is worker for DBpedia. Yes, am I, I correct ID? I'm using config ID, so it should send it to correct ID. Okay, I what? I don't see any logs at all. Log. Ah, so what's up? Let's do console log debugging. Okay, so we got uh yeah it gets to the ST that so it gets the yes it just but it does not hit that it gets the uh, here log Ching article mock not working Ching yes yeah, so in reach it works ah okay I know what it does it fails basically because there are no so we need defaults here right because it tries to map over something that doesn't exist and basically screws up no nice to do that so we're gonna do it this way Say that there's locations. 
nations, people, right? By default, they're going to be empty. This way. By or I guess in this case, I'm so um, fetch error request to the yeah, failed. Okay, uh, I screw up the knock setup. Get reply. Oh, it is a get, right? Okay, it is a get. Write the whole query thing there. Lock. There's always this one tiny detail that is like you think it will be done in no time, but uh query string. This is a fine query string. Knock on this test query string. Everybody see your English blah 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 blah. A way to say query ah what's passing a function to query. Oh, I expected that to be the default behavior, but no, except edge. Edge error request to fail knock no match for request. How is there no match for request? uh method oh is that because of the trailing slash that'd be very silly hope um talk with local host data science fetch request request uh, no, no match for request url org. yeah this is what i have here and some query try to do <gasps> works okay so this is not default behavior but there is some failing request um that's correct i okay yeah so we need to yeah in because it has still the old messages screw it up started and theoretically shoot out or take your time connect to rabbit hey works perfect okay uh we can do this last time so uh oh yeah i added console I need that. Don't need that. Add console log here. No, we're good. Test. And works. Perfect. EDM. Add fixtures. Then we go to services. Say, um, service uh, enrichment service that finds uh, basic info for all extracted entities um, that are linked to DBpedia, right? done okay so now that we're done with that we basically can uh so yeah once again i will do a short video i guess where i explain how i did all the rest of the processing and enrichment services and then we can start doing the rest interface and the ui and uh basically yeah it should be done within a couple of episodes i mean okay maybe not a couple but you know not that many adds the uh, enrichment service 
That's it. Oh. Tiny. Um, yeah. Basically it. Um, it's up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Once again, uh, you know, watching on YouTube, ask there as well. Always happy to answer. Right. Looks like we're good. Um, yeah. Like there is no questions. So uh, thank you for watching. And as usual, I see you next time. Bye.